Hey guys, so it's uh, my birthday and it's also my 19 month anniversary of not binging, uh, which is so huge. You know, if you if you follow me, I've said it a million times and I say it because, uh, you know, I'm just kind of in shock a little bit that uh, it's been this long. I mean, I, I really have to go back and count and be sure that I'm I'm even saying it right because it, it sounds foreign to say that I've went 19 months without a binge. That's <clears throat> I've lived most of my life not being able to go a week. Uh, a week was pushing it hard. Um, so this is a different reality. Um, I got some sugar-free cake, like a diabetic cake for my birthday this year. So I, I actually got to partake in a little bit of cake and it was good. I'm not used to anything sugary, so uh, tasted good to me. Um, which that was cool. Uh, so, um, you know, I, I've come, I've come a long way uh, from, you know, not being able to walk into school just to take my niece. I couldn't even stand up that long to, you know, taking my first steps and, and trying to make it up the block and back, and then seeing if I could pay the water bill, which I could with a cane. Um, and you know, the first time I, I tried to do a 5K, it was a big one. Uh, you know, not being able to fit in movie seats. Uh, I actually had to ride in the mobility scooter in Walmart. You know, I was faced with having to do that, and, and I remember how humiliating and uh, horrifying that was for me because I, I already did not want to be seen at all, at all. And to have to ride that thing, you know, I just, I remember thinking to myself, this is temporary. Uh, just just chill and get through this this is temporary and um, I had to do it twice uh, before I, I was able to walk and I'm not you know obviously it's not something to be proud of um, you know I'm late 30s and, and can't walk it's not where I wanted to be but the reason I was that way is because I couldn't stop binge eating ever I just you know it was forcing me to kill myself slowly and to be able to say 19 months now it's just a dream um, so that's that's 125 pounds ago and you know this year I haven't lost a ton of weight uh, I've lost like 25 pounds um, in eight months not a lot uh, I'm gonna adjust things and I'm gonna pick it up uh, because I'm turning 40 next year and my plan all along is to be in the best shape of my life at 40 uh, so I've got a long way to go my 5K time right now is 45 minutes. Uh, by next August 3rd, I want that to be under 20. That is one of my biggest goals I'm going to be working hard to get. Uh, I also want to finish losing weight in this next year. I want to lose the, the additional 75 plus pounds I have to lose. Um, I'm going to adjust my plan, calories down, uh, and I'm going to iron out some some wrinkles that have developed in, in my plan, you know, I'm having uh, too much Coke Zero, I'm relying a little too heavily on the artificial sweeteners, um, and, you know, I've just kind of got complacent. I need to expand my menu big time, and uh, I need to not let those uh, habits that can lead to obsess obsessive and compulsive behavior trickle in. Uh, I need to stay away from the scale as much as I can. Um, you know, I'm not going to count calories or anything like that. I'm just going to adjust my plan downward and, uh, you know, hopefully get some better results. And I'm also going to work my butt off. I have a year. Um, and I really, I have a year, and, and this is the first year in, in a, <clears throat> since 2009 that I can say my goal is within reach. It's right here. It's within this next year. If I want it, it's mine. And guys, there isn't anything I want more in this world. I, I want it. I've thought about it. I've I thought it was gone. Um, you know, I've lamented it, and I I want it, and I'm gonna get it. Uh, that's what I'm doing. I want my focus for this next year to be 100% on that, and um, to really push myself, and to really make myself be in the best shape of my life. I want to be able to compete in a 5K. I want to you know be able to do all of the things that I missed out on my entire youth because 
you know, I was I was too busy eating and, and being overwhelmed and consumed by my eating disorder. Uh, and I've got some years left, so I want to make the best of them, and I want to see what I can do. I want to push myself. And I want to feel better than I've ever felt. So that's an exciting thing, you know, to be on the cusp of, just to know in one year I'm going to sit down and make this video, and, you know, if, if I want it and I stick with it and I stay true to myself and I continue, um, that's what's going to happen. That's not very far from now. You know? So uh, I'm going to do a, a body shot to compare right now these clothes um, with next year where I'm going to update it. Uh, and I'm going to compare my 5K time. It's 45 minutes now. And hopefully next year I'll be saying something under 20. All right, this is where I'm at, August 3rd, 2018. All right, guys, so thank you so much for following along. Thanks for sticking with me. Uh, thanks for letting me come and, and vent and, and work through stuff and all that. Uh, I really appreciate everyone's support. Um, and this next year should be something else. I'm going to try to make more videos, uh, stay in touch more, and really push myself. Um, you know, all I can say is I'm going to go get it. I know that. Watch, and you'll know it, too. All right, guys, knuckle love. Let's do this.